Good day, everyone. This is Lydian Gao from Taichua, and I'm the show manager of Taiwan International Water Week and Circular Economy Taiwan 2020. In today's presentation, I will give you a brief introduction of these two exhibitions and why you should attend. Stay tuned. First, let's talk about water. Can you imagine a world without water? How many days a person can survive without water? A typical time for an individual can go without water seems to be three to four days. How does the water crisis affect the economy? Water shortage caused significant risks to business, both direct and indirect. Many people are not fully aware of economic impact of water shortage. The Water Resource Group says that water demand is expected to exceed current supply by 40% by 2030, just 10 years away from now. Also, a recent study indicated that by 2040, there will be no enough water available to meet global demand for both drinking and industrial use. Also, a recent study indicated that by 2040, there will be no enough water available to meet global demand for both drinking and industrial use. The global water supply treatment and distribution sector is a critical envelope of our society. Without it, everything else in 69.8 trillion euro global economy will fail. The economic impact affects all business, but it is particularly severe for companies with intensive water usage, such as food and beverage manufacturers, refiners, electronic manufacturers, and power plants, all of which rely on a continuously and reliable water supply for processing and cooling. We know that the industrial water consumption plays range of what's limit water supply. The average person uses about 100 gallons of water per day. Every product that you buy requires a water during the manufacturing process. Here are some of the largest water consumers that are not obvious to the public. For example, approximately 39,000 gallons of water are required to produce a new car. Other notable products include nearly 37 gallons of water to produce ingredients to make a single cup of coffee and 8 gallons for a microchip. All of these numbers telling us to have to access and to reuse water resources are necessary, and the opportunities behind water are huge. We have talked so many about water. How about circular economy? Waste is just a misallocated resource and misperceived as just recycling. Circular economy is both an idea and system focused on maximizing the effectiveness of resources and minimizing the waste. Simply say, the notion of a circular economy is resources are used to the fullest potential, follow their natural life cycles, and produce no waste. Recognizing the limit of Earth's capacity, one big question remains. Where do we go from here, and who will lead us to the future? The answer might be found in Taiwan. Taiwan has announced a forward-looking infrastructure construction program that requires 8.1 billion US dollar government funding to improve water resource management by 2024. Meanwhile, seeking to advance the transformation and upgrade of Taiwan's industry, the five plus two innovative industry plans, which will serve as a central drive of Taiwan's industrial growth in the next era, and forge a new model for sustainable development and circular economy. Have you ever been to Taiwan? Now, please allow me to introduce Taiwan International Water Week and Circular Economy for you. This might be your reason to come here. As one of the most successful environmental exhibitions and the only water exhibition in Taiwan, TIWW will be held in conjunction with CE Taiwan from September 24 to 26, 2020 in Taipei World Trade Center, Ho Wan. The annual event gathers industrial, business, and governmental professionals from the global water and circular economy industry to share best practice, showcase the latest technology, and tap business opportunities. The exhibition covers a major exhibit area, including reclaimed water and treatment, transport and storage, great infrastructure, new business model, etc. These areas over a comprehensive supply chain in both up and down strand, creating a professional trade platform. Besides exhibition and national pavilions, other special events like open ceremony, new products launch, one-on-one -on -one procure meetings. And we also have two global forums to offer you a chance to know about key issues affects industry today. First, Water for the Future International Forum is organized by Water Resource Agency of Ministry of Economic Affairs. Taipei International Water Environment Forum is organized by Taipei City Government. 
To sum up, Taiwan International Water Week and Circular Economy Taiwan offers an excellent platform for domestic and foreign manufacturers and buyers to interact and exchange ideas with each other. We expect this event will upgrade Taiwanese talent and technology with more global insights. So if come to TIWW and CE Taiwan, you will find out what opportunities are in Taiwan for you. If you have any inquiries about TIWW and CE Taiwan, please email to TIWW at titra.org.tw or contact your nearby Titra office. To know more about exhibition, let's take a look of 2019's recap. Taiwan International Water Week, TIWW gathers premium suppliers and major buyers across the water-related industry, both at home and abroad, thereby making an all-encompassing platform for cross-border transactions and exchanges. With reclaimed water treatment, water resources sustainability as its theme this year, the event brought together industry, government, and academia to present innovative technologies and comprehensive solutions in water-related areas. Taiwan is a well-grown market. You have a lot leads to the semiconductor industry, but also the heavy industry. You have a good infrastructure. We have got a lot of innovative and big companies. The Taiwan market is really attractive. I see a lot of innovations here in Taiwan. We are a research institute, we work towards innovation, so we also learn while we are here. And that's also what I like here a lot. Taiwan's advancement in technology is a unique point and a very strong point for the country. There are a lot of very impressive and innovative solutions. Taiwan's water-related industry provides superior quality and competitive prices that readily appeal to international buyers and justify its being a trustworthy partner. Taiwan have a really good quality than Chinese and prices is better than Japanese. So we help to find new companies and uh, new suppliers. Here in Taiwan, I could find some good foundries and uh, good quality companies. That's, this is my aim here. During the show, the Water Resources Agency under the Ministry of Economic Affairs hosted an international forum, Water for the Future, at the Taipei International Convention Center. Specialists were invited to share experiences and cite examples while discussing ways to ensure water supplies in the face of climate change. Coinciding with the exhibition were a number of product launches, TIWW attracted some 4,500 domestic and foreign professionals. We think that the first in the International Water Week is a great success because lots of companies come, not only from Taiwan, also international visitors, and we're very happy to be here and we definitely come again. 参展是最直接能够面对客户的一种方式，能够获得这个市场最新的消息，那让我们了解我们的产品到底是有没有竞争力。透过这种国际的一个展会，可以增加我们平常在业务联络上没有接触到的其他各国厂商。透过跟国际